Kate Beliveau, and I'm doing a quick little two-minute promotional to send along with our Region 2 grant. I'm doing this so that we can get a better vision of what the Belfalia Creative Arts Space that's opening up in May of 2012 will be like. <coughs> One of the components of our art space will be that we will be having our artists stay in these traditional yurts. My husband attended a workshop in Grand Marais, and he built this yurt, and we will eventually be putting more of these on our land by coming summer and this one will house one artist. Of course it looks unappealing in the winter but it will be placed out in the woods and be our first housing unit for Belfalia Creative Arts Space. Another component of being here at the Belfalia Creative Arts Space out in Popofsky, 160 acres of woods and meadows, is again, we want the artist to have a balance that meets their needs, a balance of quiet time, reflection, time to do their artwork, but also a lot of artists need the spark and the inspiration of talking and being with other artists. This little cabin, we're kind of renovating and working on. It'll be ready to go in the spring. We're going to turn this into an arts library. So there'll, there's a wood stove in there. There'll be couches and chairs. And then we have many, many art, magazines, books and resources and internet accessibility. So this is a place to research. And again, a place to hang out with other artists. One of the areas that we know that the artists who stay at Belthalia will especially appreciate and enjoy and hopefully be inspired to make new art well, is this very active beaver pond that exists on our land. Um, in the summertime, of course, it looks very different than this, but one of our plans is to put a yurt on the hill that's quite a ways behind me. And then we also have just purchased another unit that we're retrofitting, a grain bin that we're making into a three-story space for artists as well. That'll be on the isthmus between an otter pond and this very active beaver pond. The artists will be able to come out in the summer evenings, and if they're real quiet and willing to sit, they'll be able to see the beavers in action. It's a pretty magical place here at Belfalia. Our hope is that when the artists here at Belfalia get a chance to interact with nature, they'll be inspired. One of the components of the Belfalia Creative Arts Space is giving artists a balance between quiet reflective time and time to interact with other artists who are on campus. We're filming this in the winter so it's not perfect situation because we've got it all closed up in our screen porch. But this screen porch space basically will be where the artists will have their meals on Thursday nights and they will have self-serve breakfast every morning. So this will be a space where they can just hang out, talk to each other and interact when they're on campus.